Hey fellow investors and fellow Stockardians, it's Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. I'm Hoda, co-founder and CEO of Stockard, reporting to you from a barely moving stock market. Tuesday turned out to be somewhat calm, with all three indices finishing the day barely moving away from where they started. Among the three, the Nasdaq index was the most active one, and even that one barely finished the day in the green. There were quite a few noteworthy winners today. Let's go through some of them quickly. Shares of Canopy Growth were up more than 12%. The Green Rush leader released its latest quarterly earnings report and announced the company is on its path to profitability in the second half of the year. That's quite impressive and makes me certainly happy for holding on to my CGC shares all along through the cannabis sector's drastic decline in the last year or so. The main reason I held my shares was the fact that the company had quite a lot of cash and the backing of Constellation Brands to plow through the challenging times. Shares of Lyft were up more than 7%, especially in the after hours. The company announced its earnings report and shared a 3.5% spike in the number of riders in the last quarter compared to 2019. That's quite interesting. There was no pandemic in 2019 and the spike in the number of riders is a sign that the economy is on its way to recovery. Shares of Twitter were up more than 6%. It's surprising price jump because the company discussed a 25% jump in its expenses in the upcoming quarter. Overall, it seems investors are excited about the growing number of monetizable users and the company's investments in product development as you may have seen on the company's shareholder letter today. Also, quickly, let's talk about Glue Mobile. Shares of Glue Mobile were up more than 34%. You may have seen it popping up on the popular tab on the Discover page. The excitement is thanks to the acquisition news by Electronic Arts. Gaming industry is quite adamant about acquiring the smaller companies. There were quite a lot of other winners today. Solid earnings report have been the main reason for quite a few upward green arrows in the market today. Let's talk about one noteworthy loser. Cisco disappointed investors with its quarterly earnings report and shares drop almost 5%. The tech infrastructure old-timer blamed the pandemic for a 9% drop in its enterprise segment. I call it an excuse because nimbler companies such as Zoom or other IT infrastructure companies have been able to maintain or even grow their revenue quite drastically during the pandemic. So that's just not very good excuse to justify the 9% drop in the enterprise segment. Let's wrap the day by an update from the feature tab. The Duo Live Ops team of Shama and Felipe at Stockard published the latest list of stocks on the feature tab, and this time they focused on the much talked about a streaming war. This new collection of stocks is quite interesting. It covers companies from subscription based video streaming, music streaming, podcast streaming, all the way to even audiobook platforms. I encourage you to do two things. First, check out the latest blog post we published to learn more about this new list of stocks. I put a link in the description or simply go to blog.stockart.io. Also, secondly, and maybe even more importantly, go to the filter tab, create a new filter, search for streaming more collection, and then filter the list of companies without any cash concerns, but with bearish money flow. This filter would give you a watch list of solid streaming stocks that have been dealing with possibly short-term challenges and short-term money outflow from their pool of stockholders. Play around with the combination of filters and collections such as the streaming wires to discover watch this worthy stocks. As always, if you like to give a stock card VIP a try to research as many stocks as you want and follow successful investors' portfolios, use promo code RollWithRCEO, all lowercase and in one word. That's it for today. If you like these quick market recap reports directly from my daily stock market research, please like and subscribe and share with your fellow investors. I'll see you tomorrow.